The brown recluse infests the American Midwest from Texas to Kansas and Oklahoma. A survey in Missouri found them living in 70% of homes. For seven-year-old Bobby Joe Johnson, the morning of October 14, 1998, was just like any other. But the next 12 hours in the life of this child would shock the rural community of Stanbury, Missouri. What's the matter, Bobby Joe? My back hurts. It was about 12.30 that afternoon, and the school called and the school nurse and said that Bobby was sick. So I came up here to the school and picked her up, and they said that she was running a small fever and her stomach was hurting. The local doctor thought Bobby Joe might have been bitten on the back by a spider. She suggested a course of antibiotics just in case. In the time it took Michelle to find a drugstore, Bobby's condition had deteriorated dramatically. Bobby Joe was admitted to the local hospital. I would just come there a little bit. The color of her urine showed that changes were taking place inside her tiny body. The venom was making her red blood cells explode. Bobby Joe's kidneys were having trouble clearing the debris. And uh, ground uh, x-rays in from the... Uh, the local hospital didn't have a dialysis machine to filter her blood. Doctors decided to medevac Bobby Joe to Children's Mercy Hospital in Kansas City. There was only room in the life flight helicopter for Bobby Joe. Michelle and her family faced an agonizing two-hour drive to Kansas City. Bobby Joe's vital signs, her blood pressure and pulse, appeared normal. She seems like it hurts to lay on her back. She's not wanted to lay down. But she was disoriented, and the bite area on her back had spread. We didn't know at the time that she also had been bleeding internally uh, in different areas from the clotting abnormalities. In effect, she lost probably about half of her blood volume in one way or another. Honey, it's all right. Pediatric toxicologist Dr. Gary Wasserman consulted on Bobby Joe's condition. But in Bobby Joe's case, uh, the worst things happen quickly and progress very rapidly. Uh, even though it is very difficult to manage and reverse some of those effects, because there is no true antivenom in the United States, uh, I had assumed that uh, we could counter most of the problems and support someone until their body could heal themselves. By the time Michelle arrived, Bobby Joe was in serious distress. And she's sitting in the bed, and the nurse told her, um, asked her to lay down and relax, because she was all upset. And I tried to get her to just lay down. The machine started going off, and the nurse asked, did we lose one of the leads off of her, off the heart monitor? And then she just laid down, and they asked us to leave the room then, and they started doing CPR and trying to do what they could to get it, bring her back. But... Bobby Joe didn't make it. There are a few tragedies greater than a young life cut short. Bobby's 